Hey YouTube, I wanted to share some earth changes info with all of you and also stress the importance of being prepared in light of the events that are going on. You are not going to see this in any of the mainstream news sources, although most of them appeared in their respective areas on mainstream news. Uh, when you look in totality at what has been occurring over the last uh, week, week and a half, um, it's very alarming. We have a number of sinkholes that have occurred. We have a number of train derailments that have occurred. Some of these are on the west coast, but the majority of them are along the east coast. If you go to the Radchick page on Facebook, we have a thread pinned to the top of the page that I started a few days ago since then, and I want to thank Deborah O'Neill for uh, finding many of these stories in addition to um, the original stories, which were from Baltimore, Brooklyn, and Philadelphia, we have about 40 more that have been added since then. And I will post links to all of these stories under the video as well. First story that caught my attention was published July 27th, Washington State. A uh, couple now has a 200-foot growing sinkhole in their backyard that originally started with a sand geyser. There was a 500-year-old tree on the property, so this area has been stable for quite a while. And this was in Washington State. Now there's been three sinkholes in the last week and a half occurring in Baltimore. And uh, what you'll notice if you go through any of these articles is they are attributed mostly to infrastructure failure. Uh, which, of course, happens all the time because of the age of our water mains and so forth underground, but the sheer number of them and their proximity to each other is what is so concerning. South Philadelphia, in New Jersey, there's been about 12 of them along a beach. Uh, one of them a guy fell into. He said, I couldn't move. It was like I was in concrete. Monroe Drive in Midtown. This occurred in Atlanta on August 1st. North Chapel Avenue, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Westmont Road. This was published July 31st near Westmont College in Santa Barbara. There was a fatal train derailment on the St. Lawrence stretch zone. Um, this occurred at the end of February. This is one of the older ones. Uh, there was a bridge collapse. August 3rd in Raleigh, West Virginia, and there has been actually four of them in North Carolina, along with a sinkhole event. Here's another one. This occurred in Atlanta, Knox County, Indiana, Cramerton, North Carolina, another derailment. This was posted August 7th. Plevna in Southeast Montana, train derailment. This occurred August 5th. There was another uh, large train derailment in Argentina, in Buenos Aires, and one also in Morocco. 46 were injured. These also just occurred in the last few days. The one in Morocco is from the 3rd. Another one, Union County, North Carolina. 25-mile stretch of the Erie Canal between Middleport and Holly in New York, near Albany. This was posted August 3rd. Willard County, Missouri, a uh, sinkhole that was 10 feet across, then quickly grew to about 15 feet. Road crews first thought the hole was 5 feet deep, but after bringing in backhoes, they're not sure where the bottom is yet. Now this is the current earthquake map. In the last uh, few days, we've had a number of earthquakes that have occurred in Oklahoma and in Montana, uh, near Seattle, and along the California coast in San Andreas. And there were also a couple, uh, this one up near Quebec, and there was one in West Virginia, although I do not see this posted. This is the map that I made this morning. These are all of the sinkhole and train derailments that have occurred in the past week and a half. This one's in red because of its proximity to the New Madrid. Um, there's a large sinkhole that was preceded by... Um, bubbles coming up from the swamps and shaking of houses for the last few weeks in Assumption Parish, Louisiana. And again, look at the proximity of where the Mercando well was.
where they punctured the salt dome and where the New Madrid is. We've had a few large earthquakes off the coast of Nova Scotia. We've had booms in this area in here and New Brunswick. Also in Wisconsin, this is the Niagara Escarpment that runs along this area. And now we've got all these events, train derailments and sinkholes, two of them in Florida, one near a courthouse, one on a guy's property. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but this is very unusual. And in following these earth changes for the last two years, I don't ever remember seeing this many events at any single one time. And with some of the warnings that have been coming out, I think that it is in your best interest to be prepared for any such event to occur. And let me post the map of where all the nuke plants are located. If you go to this page, you can put in your zip code and you can see exactly how close you live. If you are downwind of any of these areas, you should have a plan in the event of an earthquake or a meltdown at one of these nuclear reactors or even a number of nuclear reactors if there was a large seismic event of where you would go and the last thing you want to do is head east of an event you want to go either north or south or west of the Mississippi now I also heard a statistic last night that 61 percent of people believe there is some event coming in the next few months be it either a global economic collapse, a large seismic event, a celestial event, and I don't know what to make of that except to be prepared because once something like this happens, it's going to be too late. You need to have at least a gallon of water for each person in your household for each day. So that means if you have four people in your house, you're going to need four gallons of water a day and I would try to get at least enough water for a month. You can also find methods of collecting rainwater and filtering it through clay to remove any radiation fallout or any other type of fallout that might occur from a local reactor event so you can collect water in the event that we don't have any running water. And also what you need to do in terms of supplies, there's um, many good websites that detail this. So I wanted to share this with you guys um, and let you know also Nuked Radio is currently off the air while I get some medical problems taken care of. We will be back next week and I will um, share information as soon as I know the exact date and time. It will probably be the same as uh, the show was before, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12 to 1. So I'll see you then if we're still here. Stay safe, everyone. stuff on and you can see they, they had dug a, a big square like this and you can see in the wall where all the midden stuff is and then right on top of that there's this sand layer in there. I mean just right on top of it so these people were probably living there and this earthquake happened and they were just inundated. <laughs> so what would it have buried them or what? Apparently so you know the thing is that the whole that whole property is now in cultivation so we're going to wait and see if we can ever get them to they want to let it lie fallow one year, maybe let us do some, some wider excavations in there. That, I mean, that, that would be a dream because you're really getting a snapshot then. I mean, you could even theoretically find bodies on the floors and that kind of stuff, you know, just like it. Um, yeah, because see, that's crazy because I read up on the history of the 1811 earthquake or the series of them, and it, all I could find was the count of one man dying because a tree, a tree limb fell out of him. But you're saying that... That was a pretty minor earthquake. That's the thing. A lot of these earlier ones were much stronger than that. Well, the minor one, didn't it ring church bells up in Boston? Well... And crack windows in southern Michigan? Whatever, supposedly. <laughs> but that's still... It's, there were some that were a lot stronger than that.